Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into a blast from the past. Michael McKinson, who burst in our radar in 2021 or so. Uh, 2022, I guess it was. 21-22. We fought on uh, Matchroom cards on the zone. Uh, and we fought on actually Golden Boy cards. Uh, we got to take a look at him. Uh, British welterweight mover. Boxer, he will take on Tulani Bengay in a really intriguing fight. Uh, this is stylistically, this is going to be a pretty fun fight. But before we get into this, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing bookie comes actually for every single major fight, so we had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Just put it there. Uh, just $5 a month gets the absolute best gambling advice in the world. So, gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. It gets you uh, the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book you anything. It gets you the updated props. The props on this fight are out, so that's exciting. But uh, for other fights, come over to the, to the Patreon. Files a month will get you updated props, what props to make money on. And also, updated props and uh, request a video. You can request a fight. If I haven't done so far yet, I will show you how to make money on any single fight that you want. Uh, so that's files a month. Join the Patreon. Also, head over to carnivorebar.com, carnivorebar.com. Uh, get the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a, of a, <laughs> get the nutrition of a steak for the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout. That's boxing at checkout to save 10%. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into the show. Michael McKinson. Like I said, we saw him break out a little bit. Uh, we saw him fight a few times in 2022, I guess it was, uh, on, on some Golden Boy cards. He was, he was a matchroom welterweight at the time. Southpaw, slick, soft hitting, doesn't really set his feet. Kind of all over the place. Leaves his head on a line. He lunges in. He, he'll lead face first sometimes, but he's a good athlete. Awkward style. He's willing to come forward and fight on the inside, which is interesting. You don't really get that because stylistically, he's just awkward. He uses his athleticism. His, his defense is athleticism. He'll drop his hands. He'll fire from angles. You know, he'll fire from his, his, his keeps his hands at his, at his waist, at his hips, and, and fire him there. Um, he relies on his on his athleticism. He's accurate and, and sneaky from long range. Like I said, the punch com punches come from different angles. It's not conventional. He's accurate and sneaky. He's got quick reflexes. His hands are down uh, a bit. A lot of times, his, his hands are down. We saw that less in the Virgil Ortiz fight, obviously because of Virgil's power. He's got no pop. He doesn't sit down on his punch. He doesn't commit to his shots. He's got a few knockouts, but it's not what he's looking to do. He's not in there looking to hurt you. He's looking to you know, go in there and land a, a few shots um, and, and catch it off guard. Actually at his best when he's wild and, and all over the place. And that's what, when he's at his best. When he when he's kind of just boxing, circling, jabbing, he's kind of ordinary. Like, it's not really his strength. His strength is in his awkwardness and his, his, his unconventional style. That's where he's at his best. As far as Tulani and Bengay, Bengay, tall, long, really controls the center of the ring. There's a lot of tape out on him if you search YouTube. I wasn't overly familiar with this guy until I pulled him up. He's uh, he's a decent fighter, but he has some flaws too. Long jab. He works behind his jab. He fights tall. He does get hit a lot. He's in front of you. There's not a lot of head movement. There's not a lot of lateral movement. He's just kind of in front of you, and he uses his jab. If his jab can land first, he'll land it, but he's easy to counter. He fights off the front foot. Not a lot of head movement, like I said. His head is on a line. Pretty decent volume. Pretty decent pop. Not a huge hitter, but he obviously has better pop than McKinson. He commits to his shots more. He keeps that jab out there, uh, but he's, like I said, he's easy to counter. He's lazy bringing his shots back. This guy can be timed, but it's difficult because he's long. 
right? So where do you stand on him? He's going to walk, try to walk you down, back you up. Uh, can you stand in there and count him? If you can, you can have him. I, I don't think that's what McKinson does. So that's interesting. He goes first a lot. He definitely likes to be first. He doesn't have great speed. He winds up a bit. Like, there's some bad habits. He winds up a bit. He, he's lazy bringing his hands back. This is a guy that is, is a spectacular knockout waiting to happen. Fortunately for him, Michael McKinton doesn't seem to be the guy that can land that, you know, one big shot and end it, end it quickly. Uh, he stays behind his high guard. But I said, like, yeah, he's lazy bringing it back. He'll leave it out. Is his lazy bringing it back. Decent power, stays aggressive, throws big shots. He needs to be at range. That's where he's at his best. And he stays on you. He stays on you, and he makes life uncomfortable for you. It's a really interesting fight. Uh, I don't know if I tip my hand a little bit, but I, I think this is a fight that goes a distance. And I, I think this is a fight that McKinson, uh, that Bengay wins. It's a very close fight. Uh, here's what I would do. I would do this. I would make my big bet the over. I text the under. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, make my big bet the over. And I, I would parlay around this. And I would put a little something on uh, Bengay. You could go the over. You can. Do they have the – does the fight go the distance? You might be better off doing that. It's a little bit better, minus 400. You could do that. Uh, another thing you could do is kind of a little, little bit of arbitrage. Uh, you could take Michael McKinson by decision and then Begay by decision. You could do that. But I, what I would do, what I, I would do is this. Begay, uh, $50 bet, take the odds. It's going to make you 67.50. And then uh, your one times bet. On the over at 10 and a half, it's going to make you 20 bucks. So that's 18, 20, uh, that's 68 and 20. It's going to make you 88 bucks um, on a $150 bet. That's not too bad. And I'm pretty confident both these things hit. If one of them misses, then you know, you, your head's the other way. I, I definitely like the over. If Mbengue knocks him out, you still made some money on that. And you kind of covered your losses. So I like Mbengue on the money line. And I like to fight over 10 and a half. Let me know what you guys think. Look, and, and, and the over 10 and a half, I think, is something great to build your parlay around. I really like the over on this fight. I really, really like the over on this fight. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build around that. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments, concerns. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. And guys, remember to join the Patreon. Also, go to carnivalbar.com. Use promo code Boxing to save 10%. It's uh, nutrition on the go. It's the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a bar. That's carnivalbar.com. It is October 17th. 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.